What you're about to watch is a news parody. Its stories are not fact-checked, its reporters are not real journalists, and its opinions are not fully thought through. Good evening, I'm Nathan Finster. And I'm Kathleen Suri. Let's get straight to this breaking news. The university is going to undergo some name changes starting soon. The Red Report's Andy Hartman looks into what the changes entail. The WNIT championship game brought a lot of excitement and experiences to USD. But getting the bid cost the university more than some may think. Going along with selling the name of the new sports arena to Sanford, President Abbott has decided to sell the naming rights of the entire university to Sanford in order to earn back the money. We haven't had any offers from Trump or anybody like that. But we do have uh, Sanford, and so I think it makes sense for South Dakota, it makes sense for Sioux Falls, and if it makes sense for South Dakota and Sioux Falls, why doesn't it make sense for USD? Everybody knows South Dakota, so really do we have to have that in our name? I don't think so. So University of Sanford sounds kind of good. Along with naming the University Sanford, Abbott is also naming all buildings on campus Sanford as well, which is causing some confusion. I'm in the honors program, and I don't think even that has prepared me for this. Uh, next year, I'm living in the Sanford building, and. I also have several classes in several other Sanford buildings, so I, coming to college, I already had difficulty finding my classes in, in, in buildings that had different names. Another issue is the naming of the dorms. I used to work in the BD Mix side, now I work in the Sanford Sanford side. Like, what does that even mean? But President Abbott is confident that the students will adapt. You know, since every building in Sioux Falls is already named Sanford, I think they should be pretty much used to it by now. I don't think this would be a big surprise. One concern that has come up is the new name of the Munster University Center. The fact that the muck is now the Sanford University Center and it spells out suck. With the new change, students are scrambling to find a silver lining. Now that it's Sanford University, I don't know, it sounds close to Stanford, so that could be an interesting prestige benefit. For The Red Report, I'm Andy Hartman.